Hi, my name is Kevin, co-founder and CEO of TicTag. TicTag is a data annotation and collection platform that allows companies to get high-quality machine learning and AI datasets to train their AI and machine learning models. My co-founder and I, Jin, we were actually on an MRT train when we were discussing this idea of this our next project where it was really, really painful to get all this data annotated or tagged in a sense. What we wanted to do was to be able to find a way for more people to be able to help us on this task. And then we looked around us. We realized that everybody around us on the train was staring at their phones. We were thinking to ourselves, instead of not being very productive on the train, why not we give people a way to be able to contribute to the next generation of the economy? And that's how we thought, okay, yeah, let's put it onto a phone let's maximize the ability to do crowdsourcing. One of the ways that you can describe data annotation is called data tagging. You would say things like, oh, I need to tag X amount of data sets within the next few hours. And then we were starting to say, hey, why not we try and make tagging into a game? That's how Tic Tag, the name came about because we were thinking Tic Tag, like Tic Tag Toe. Why not we just cut it short instead of saying Tic Tag Toe, we just call it Tic Tag. The first time we started out with Tic Tac in the first place, we tried to make it very gamey. Uh, a lot of like colorful images and the user interface was a lot more kiddie in a sense. So what we uh, started doing as well was to actually interact quite a bit uh, with the people that we really wanted to impact. And then they gave us feedback that said, oh, your app is too colorful. <laughs> your text is too small. We can't read it. There are too many buttons to press. So what we did was we tried to simplify this as much as possible as well, make the, the sign up process as well as the interface itself be a lot more adaptable towards phones that could display larger font sizes. We started out as a COVID-born company. Back then also, what our primary target audience was, was we wanted to work with the senior care centers as well as the elderly. So you can imagine that this was a very, very challenging time, especially during COVID, because nobody wanted us to go near their seniors. What we did was that we actually conducted online classes with them to be able to bring them on board to try and teach them how to use the application. By working with the seniors as well, we realized, okay, we don't only need to work with the seniors, we are able to work with people with other kinds of backgrounds as well. So we started going to work with our organizations like Eden School, as well as the Autism Resource Center within Singapore. And that was really heartening to us because I kind of proved our thesis that everybody has a part to play within this economy. The idea that you can hop onto an application, spend some time doing annotation, and then make some money along the way, that's always very attractive to anybody. But beyond that also, we've done as much as possible to try and engage our tigers. We also have a system that's called like the badge system where they're able to gain certain skills along the way and track how they're also advancing in terms of their skill levels. Right now, we're also working on like a leaderboards feature. We wanted to have like our tigers feel like, oh, you know, I'm actually seeing other people doing annotation as well, using the TikTok application and earning coins. Especially with data annotation and collection, I believe that with AI advancing at the speed it is, a lot of the data sets that we need are going to be increased in terms of the volume as well. So we're going to need more and more data to train more and more complex models that are going to be helping society more and more as well. But we don't have to leave people behind in this economy because naturally with ChatGPT, with generative AI, a lot of jobs are going to be more and more automated away. The common narrative is, oh, AI is going to take away your job. Everyone at Tic Tac wants to make sure it doesn't happen. What we want to be able to see happening is that AI involves more and more of the society in how it's built rather than just being hyper-focused around just data scientists, software engineers, and the largest tech companies. Thank you for watching. My name is Kevin. I'm co-founder and CEO of TicTag, and I hope you'll join us in doing good with good data. Mm -hmm.